Well, Mike, finally get a chance to get behind the wheel of the altitude. If it performs as well as it looks, it's going to be a great uh, four-wheel drive and uh, off-road vehicle, that's for sure. Certainly very comfortable sitting in these uh, heated seats, I've got to say. Climate control system is very keeping good. us toasty on this cold winter's day. It certainly is. It's good driving position, nice and high, the steering wheel feels good. Yeah. And the visibility is excellent. I mean, yeah, you can really uh, see the track in front of you, know what you're coming up against. Got a big driver's side window. Yep. Gives plenty of visibility, plenty of visibility outside. Here's the first bit of obstacles with some greasy, rutted track. Certainly not uh, feeling any sign of slip, and uh, we're not got the rear diff lock on at the moment. Which is, uh, yeah, that's great. And we've not scraped anything yet in terms of uh, the bash plates or anything, so the, the clearance is really good. At the moment, centre diff's locked and we're in low range. I've just got the uh, terrain response set up on auto for the terrain system. Bit, bit of a shaly spot here. Bit of wheel slip, as you'd expect for it, but we're up it with reasonable amount of ease. Yes, the Toyota traction control is a good thing. Yep, certainly is. Feels one wheel slip, just lets the other ones grab. And the 2.8 litre turbo diesel has plenty of zip. I'll just put the multi-terrain select into rock mode and we're in rock mode. Well, we're not getting any resistance so far. Moving along well. We've got a bit of a step here. Let's see how we go. Yep, all good. Yep, straight up. No trouble with that. I think the rock mode allows you to give a little bit more right foot without it jolting. It seems to have smoothed out the, the throttle. And we're making uh, very good progress on some fairly uh, slippery terrain, quite, uh, quite rocky. How does it feel from uh, the driving oh, position? A lot of confidence in yep. this car getting up these, getting up this hill. Well we can certainly hear the traction control working as it's meant to and uh, keeps the vehicle moving, manages the, any of uh, the wheels that are slipping, provides power to the wheels that have got the traction. And the section coming up is very tight between the trees. I'm guessing the tight turning circle on the Prado should make, should it, make it nice pretty and easy. easily. Yeah. Uh, walk, walk in the park. Nice responsive steering, good feel through the steering wheel and the turning circle. Very, very acceptable for a full-size four-wheel drive. Yeah, excellent. And I'm going to disconnect the front stabiliser bar, which will allow a bit more wheel travel, which I think we're going to need on the way down, mm -hmm. um, because there are some big steps. It's a nice car to drive and I'm expecting Locking this down into low one in an eight speed gearbox is going to give me a very low gear and going to give me plenty of engine braking. And it's behaving itself nicely. Yeah, it's uh, just taking a nice uh, walk over the ruts and uh, over the uh, rocks. Here's a first very step. comfortable. This will be a good test, this one. A little tap, but I've seen bigger cars clunk yep. in, on steps like that. Yep. No, that's not unexpected in any four-wheel drive, so yeah, that's great. And these uh, all-terrain tyres seem to be uh, performing well. And this, is, this track is still quite uh, greasy from all the rain we had. Yep, it's hanging. I'm up on the side of a wet bank there and it's holding nicely over that rut. Yep. Hill descent, downhill. And it is super slow crawling down. I've got my feet off all the pedals. It's a lot quieter than the uh, downhill assist on some of the older vehicles. It certainly is, can't even hear it. Turn that off, back into manual one for the last rocky step. This is a very enjoyable car to drive. Yeah, it's certainly, certainly comfortable from a uh, passenger's mm. perspective. There is a definite sense of uh, comfort and uh, confidence in the way the vehicle's behaving, of its ability to manage the terrain, and we've put it through some 
Fairly serious uh, yeah, tracks there, uh, Graham, don't you think? That's a difficult track on a, on a four-wheel drive ranking trip, and that handled it with ease. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to leave your comments below. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.